Yo, hi everybody and welcome to this small little uh, tutorial about vibratos. Not vibrators as many thought in previous videos when I was talking about the vibrator, uh, vibrato. It's the vibrato and not the vibrator. <laughs> Even it's nearly the same. <laughs> um, I mean, the first question is why we do we need vibratos? Oars, oars. Um, I wanted to. I wanted to. I just checked it out uh, before, and I wanted to see if I could play without complete without vibrate, and it's not possible. So I explained like this: If you want to tell something, somebody something like um, "You are an asshole," or you say "You are an asshole," <laughs> what do you think? Which which has the more uh, emotional impact? I mean, it's up to you. It's more personal decision. If you're more the cool guy, you say. You are an asshole, or you are an asshole. <laughs> or you can imagine something else like, yeah, I love you, or I love you. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why we need vibratos, because um, this is the really the dramatic juice in the guitar play. <laughs> And um, this tutorial, I just want to give you a few um, essential information about vibratos, um, what you really have to pay attention, a few exercises, um, how you can figure out. I have a chewing gum here. Yeah, so let's check it out. Now, in general, um, vibratos can, can be totally different. You can have slow vibratos, slow and wide vibratos, or fast, like a bumblebee. And um, I mean, I'm not really a friend of the bumblebee, but <laughs> I mean, if you love the bumblebee, and sometimes it's cool to be the bumblebee. It depends what you want to want to say in your music. Uh, but the main point is, either you play the bumblebee or the more uh, wide vibrato. It's <coughs> it's the way you control it, and that's the trick behind the vibrato. So. Um, you can you can make two different types of movements. You can make with the whole hand. See now, I just uh, now I move with the whole hand in this position, and I move around like like a sinus wave around the note. It should be around the note and not over the note. See, that's too much. What is not really good is when you make it with one finger like this. Sometimes, sometimes I make it like this if I want to make this bumblebee effect, but um, that's really. And what is also important when you practice, a practice with each of the fingers. See, like this. And um, each finger has a different movement. You really need to check out what kind of effect you want to create. What is also important is in the high positions, the movement is different. Also when you have a different sound, if you play with high, high gain distortion, the vibrator is more intense. You really move more around these notes from my personal view. I mean, you can play totally without with distortion. If you play um, distortion without totally without vibrato, this is really terrible. Something like this. And yeah, that's basically what you need to know about this. Also, each each um, of the of the strings has a different feel how you want to play. Something like this. Really practice this way. And once you have it a little bit together, then try to play to, to any kind of tune. And in this case, I'm going to select the, the funky blues tune. And just play only with the vibrator. And if you're doing it nicely, as in this example, you already sound pretty well, even if you don't play any, any licks at all.
this case I am playing a B flat minor pentatonics. What is very important for sound settings, or I, I get often asked uh, what my sound settings are, and the main thing is um, the sound is created on the fretboard, so you need to control each note with your vibrator. You can make smooth vibrators, as I said before, fast vibrators, or you can make like a dynamic shift, start slow and get faster. See now the way I created tension, just by adding speed into the vibrator amplitude. And that's the whole thing about vibrators. And in high positions, as I said, it's a little bit different. Let's check it out with the, with the track. Yeah, that was a little um, clip about vibrators. I hope you enjoyed it and got the point out of it. The main thing with the vibrator is, um, I mean, I can tell you play like this, play like this. It's not the point. The point is you find your individual way of expression. The, maybe check out how you're in real life. <laughs> if you're more the dramatic type, you have to have, have a dramatic vibrator. If you're more the cool type, keep it cool. I mean, nobody's telling you you need to do it, but um, yeah, as I said a bit in the beginning of this little video, I think you got the point. And then really work it out, just the specific part of, the git of your guitar playing, because it's very important. The, the vibrator, it makes your tone as your voice. And um, if you can play 100 licks and never worked on your vibrator, you will not sound good. That's really my tip of the day. And... Um, really take that one serious yo i think we have it together enjoy it and we see us soon